everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make a cuff sleeves so for this I just took uh, already made a sleeves like this so I pre-cut the sleeves and uh, so now I'm going to show you how to make the cuff sleeves in this okay so normally this cuff sleeves looks really pretty in a uh, three-four sleeve and the full sleeve so my length of the sleeves to be uh, 15 inches for today's project I just kept a 4 inch extra so the 15 inch lies over here and I just given a 4 inch extra to that because I'm going to fold that sleeves like this so this include a half to 1 inch of seam olivins so I'm going to have a this much of cuff in my sleeve and to go with the cuff sleeve I just took this pattern fabric uh, and I show you how to do this. First, I'm going to measure the width of this. So it's going to measure inches. So this is going to be the pattern fabric. So I'm going to take the height to be um, four inch, four point five inches. So in lengthwise, you're going to take sixteen inches. So same like that. This is the folded edge of the fabric. Just place the tape like this and you're going to mark 8 inches from the top. So this is going to be 8 inches. Okay. So I've got the sleeves to be perfect length. Okay. So you're going to make a two piece of this for the uh, left hand side and for the right hand side. So I made a two piece out of this. So let me show you how to attach these piece to this. So now take your pretty side of the fabric and uh, you're going to place this pattern fabric on top of this. So this is going to be the pretty side of the fabric and this is going to be the pattern fabric. So all you have to do is, uh, I'm going to just draw a line at the center. So how I'm going to sew this is, I'm going to start from this end and I'm going to sew all the way straight to this point and I'm going to go like a V from here to here and same like that go up, finish off the stretch. So uh, let me show you how to stretch this together. So make sure first you start from the end point like this. When you get into the point where you're going to stop so you and put the needle in, turn the fabric out so that down okay. put the needle in again turn the fabric and you're going to sew that straight Same like that, put the needle in, turn the fabric and sew it So now all you have to do is, you are going to cut into this V. Okay. So you are going to cut into this V part like this. Just snip that in till you get to the end point of this. So once it's done, you're going to snip off the corners like this. So turn the fabric inside out. You're going to have a very tiny little pretty opening like this. So to the back side, you have a raw edge over here. So all you have to do is double fold this fabric. And you're going to sew that together. So once you're done tucking that in, it's going to look a pretty beautiful like this. The next thing is uh, you're going to fold the fabric like this 
and you are going to put a stretch on top of this to secure the folding we are going to put a stretch like this Put the needle in, turn the fabric Again you are going to put the needle in, turn it again And that's it for now. Hope you like this video and it just goes well with this uh, neckline. And I have another thing to show you is the... Oh my gosh, it's too heavy. Hope you can see this now. This is going to be a Usha Genomi Wonder Stitch Automatic Sewing Machine. I just bought this today and I did my first demo. They will be coming for two demos it seems. First demo, as soon as you buy the product, they will give one demo. And after 20 days, they will give a next demo. So I just bought this machine to do some Pico work, zigzag work. And I totally loved the way it just sews the fabric. And also I have to tell you that this is not a sponsorship video and this is not a promotional video. I just bought this uh, Wonder Stretch machine and this is the app machine for the beginners. Daily basis I just receive more than 10 mails regarding the sewing machine. They want to know what is the best sewing machine for beginners. I will just go ahead and recommend this Wonder Stretch. Another machine is there that's um, Stretching Magic or something like that. I really don't have any idea about that because this is the upgraded version of that and you have a lot to do with this. I don't recommend only Wusha. Five years I used the Brother and Singer machine. Believe me, that also works really, really good. We have a service people next to my house, so I just feel comfortable to get a product from them. And also when I just unboxing this Usha Genomi machine, for sure I'll be uh, sharing you some of the machines for Singer and also Brother which is going to be the best for the beginners, okay. And if you find this video really useful to you, don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription is very very important to me to come with the more innovative ideas like this and thank you so much see you next time with a different kind of style take care bye bye